Kevin mentioned The New Yorker, and I've totally read that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fill me in. Tell me everything I missed. Won't take long. Only three things happened. Terry chipped his tooth and had a lisp for a week. Listen up, Steven. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say something amusing to you? Answer me, you son of a bitch! Number two, Santiago and Boyle wore the same outfit to work one day. How does it look better on you? And Captain banned headphones from the office due to the Gina incident. Great recap. Why are you up so early? No reason, just excited to face a new day. Oh, because ever since we've been down here, you've been a little depressed. Have I? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't eat the burrito. <laughs> I know how to distract Terry. Captain, remember how you canceled the last Halloween heist because there was that emergency gas line explosion and you said we had to help out? Yes. I also remember you refusing to believe the explosion was real. Go back to acting school, buddy. You're way overselling the pain here. No one's buying it. Well, it's not like I was the only one who thought it was fake. And the Oscar goes to Rent. Stevie and I were beat cops together. We called ourselves the Beatsy Boys. And yeah, it was as cool as it sounds. So y'all would just stand around like that? Yeah. All the time. Totally get it. My first partner was also pretty cool. Everyone called us Chucky and the Coot. So I guess we all had great partners that we've completely moved on from. Because yours died of old age? He did. I need a favor. My apartment got broken into last night. Gina, that's terrible. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I suffered the loss of many treasured items, such as my grandma's jewelry, some cash, and this very fancy gown with like a magic eye print. Do you have any connections in the FBI or CIA? There's no one else I can turn to to solve this crime. Gina, you work in a police precinct. You can turn to anyone here. You think these buffoons can help? They're buffoons. They are not buffoons. Try the heel. Still don't feel anything. Awesome. I wish I had nerve damage. Some of them are buffoons, but I'll find some non-buffoons to investigate. Could you ask Scully to return my thumbtacks? I already put them in a biohazard bag and tossed them in the furnace. Good call. Oh, Amy, when did you get here? You've come for my conjugal capabilities. You're looking real good, girl. Oop. Lost a booby. No matter. I'll just build another one. More mashed potatoes! There is a new sheriff in town, Jake. Well, I like the old sheriff. I mean, McGinley wouldn't care about a messy desk or all these stupid rules. Hey, 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 hey! hey, hey, hey. What the hell's going on here? Science experiment. I want to see what happens if I taser this cantaloupe. OK. Hey, 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 hey. bottles of vodka. Is this going to be the weekend we finally meet Six Drink Amy? Six Drink Amy? What does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink. Amy's a little <laughs> spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks. Loud Amy. You want to get a cab? Three drinks. Amy dance pants. Four drink Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. Five drink Amy is weirdly confident. Let's do this, little man. But I've never seen six drink Amy. Maybe she's the one I could actually be friends with, AKA my Sasquatch. I've wanted to build a rapport with him since he got here, but until now, all we've had in common was our bank. Guess who? NYPD, hands up! Ah! I'd like to report a crime. So we're just doing one of these every day? Oh, you got it. I know you got it. I want my money. Tick, 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 tick. I should go back undercover, see if any of my contacts can tell me where he is. No, they're looking for a rat. And as a former cop, there's no way they're going to trust you. I guarantee you they do. Me and those guys went through some pretty intense stuff. Sing us the song of the piano man. In the Mafia, once you jolt together, you're bonded for life. Not St. Augustine? 
Yes. What's going on? He's embarrassed of me. Last Christmas, the classics department threw a holiday party. I had one drink too many and utterly humiliated myself. And that was the point St. Augustine was making in Consolation of Philosophy. Yeah, sounds super humiliating, saying something smart. Smart? I confused St. Augustine with Boethius. I might as well have stepped on a rake and bonked myself on the forehead. The problem wasn't what you said. It was that Dean Alistair pointed out your mistake and you lost your damn mind. I misremembered it because I'm reading both simultaneously. One book is too few for me. Where's the point? Okay, never mind. You're not gonna do that. You love working cases too much. Here's the plan. We're gonna catch this perp. You're gonna remember how much you love your job. You're gonna skip that interview and that's a Peralta guarantee. Your last Peralta guarantee was that you could dunk a basketball. I never said I couldn't use a ladder. Peralta guarantee achieved. The subtext of the guarantee was that you would be entertained, and you were. Anyways, Tactical Village Day is awesome. We get to field test a bunch of cool new weapons, and there's always a new training situation. Last year's was Prison Break. It got super violent. It's like being in an action movie. It's also a good opportunity for us to let off steam and bond as a unit. Everybody gets into it. Just the heist as a distraction for my lieutenant exam. Then all I had to do was sit back and watch as everyone took things way too far. But how'd you know we get so out of hand? I spent the last six months sowing the seeds of conflict. Man, I am so sick of Jake saying he's the only two-time Halloween heist winner. I'm, I'm the, the only, only two-time two -time Halloween, Halloween heist winner. winner. I can't believe everyone says you're not helpful during the Halloween heist. Just because they all think your fingers are too big. We'll show them. Thanks for inviting me over for dinner. Boy, that's hung in a real prominent place, isn't it? Not for long. I was manipulated? Sorry, Kevin. Don't apologize to him, Terry. It's his first heist. He needs to learn. Keep going. Well, you know what's kind of weird? There was no one fighting over by the radiator. You were the only person standing near it. I suppose in the hubbub, I may have tripped and busted a pipe. <laughs> What were we doing here? Look, there's Jake's shirt. It looks burnt because I was on fire. Hence the pillow shirt. It's all coming back to me. I'm a human torch! No, it was just that one memory. This was a dead end. I say we gear up and we bust in. Like we did at Bacala Restaurante, remember? That's how we do it in Brooklyn. Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty cool, but Jake and I already talked about how we'd play this. We had a pretty sweet combo about it, remember? I think we should do surveillance, collect intel, and build a case. Sure. So we all got stories, pal. Peralta, can I confess something to you? I didn't throw Frederick's duck in the garbage. Yes, I know, sir. I didn't throw the duck in the garbage. I threw it off a bridge. Why would you do that? I'm so sorry. What the hell, Boyle? What the hell happened? I, I, I was stressed about hitting you and my mind disassociated from my body. I don't even know what I did. Oh, well, let me remind you. You punched me, kicked me, spat on me, and then you said, there's more where that came from. I got a real wet mouth. You gotta admit, it's a pretty tough line. No, it's not. It's weird and sexual and not in a good way. Although I'm sure our hoots pale in comparison to the hoots that you had back in the day. I bet things got soups hoots. Actually, I wasn't privy to those events. As a gay black detective, I was excluded from most social gatherings. You guys off to play some golf? Yeah. You want a caddy? No, I do not. Yeah, golf sucks. I need someone to fill out a lineup. Will you be Scary Terry? Oh, I love being Scary Terry. <laughs> he says what regular Terry's thinking. This is taking too long! I'm gonna miss the farmer's market! But you shouldn't feel bad. Only like 10% of people pass on the first try. I know, and I'm all exhausted because of the night shift. Plus, my bathroom break during the test took a little longer than anticipated. May I use the restroom, please? Uh-oh, nothing to see here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Little desk. That's why they say it's test time, so diaper up. They say that. I've never said that. I've never worn a diaper during a test. Who would wear a diaper during a test? It's ridiculous. Santiago. Oh, God. Scully, why are you always telling us about your disgusting body? I don't see anything. That's because it's all warped. 
How are you married? Santiago wants to make captain one day. I know because I frequently caught her wearing my hat and looking into a mirror. Dismissed. I support her decision. Hey, Boyle, I know you haven't had Peralta as a secondary in a while. Be careful, it can be rough. Hey, saboteur, that's not true. I happen to be a very good secondary. So you were just borrowing those cars? Ask about his bank account. Ask about his bank account. Ask him about his bank account. You should ask him about his bank account. Captain, Santiago broke the glass. This brings back memories. I loved playing doctor as a child. The cancer is spread. Get your house in order. How did I catch on fire? Oh, no. I just remember something. Terry feels bad. What the hell was that? <laughs> ah! Ah! Hence the chest pain. But what was that loud crash? Uh, I think that might have been me. See you in hell, partner. You killed her? Her? Oh my god, it was a her. You were replacing Amy, not me. What have I done? Wait. Sir, I haven't fired a weapon since the incident. The mannequin incident. I'm familiar. <laughs> Actually, there was an incident after that. Another incident? You gotta cool it, man. I'm gonna get some candy. Sorry you got vultured. Happens to the best of us. On my count. One, two, three. I got him from here. Ah! Get up! Get up! Turn around! <laughs> you have the right to remain oh, silent. You Anything you say can and it will be used against you in the court of law. Thanks, guys. I got it from here. Skim white chocolate macchiato for Charles? Yes. I got it from here. I used a gift card for that. What happened? It was right after I found Mumu. What are you doing in the saber, buddy? I live here. Listen. Whoa, you need to lower your voice. Lower my voice? You no, know, put your hands on your head, turn around, don't make any sudden movements. I didn't do anything. <laughs> also, I'm a... Keep talking. <laughs> See what happens next. Huh? Big guy. Well, did you tell him you're a cop? I tried to, but things escalated so quickly and I didn't have my badge on me. I eventually told him, and he finally looked me up in the system and let me go. I can't believe this. I mean, nothing like that has ever happened to me, and I've done some pretty suspicious things in the street. Hey, hey, hey there. What are you doing? I'm just playing a prank on my buddy. Sounds fun. Carry on. It was a very good prank. I totally thought I was going to die. When we first met, we had some good times. <laughs> Looks like we both want that stapler. Seems that way, based on what happened. <laughs> 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 so when did it all go south? 1989. I was up for a big promotion, which would have fast-tracked my career. Wanch offered to write a letter on my behalf, but instead she torpedoed me because of something that happened the night before she was to turn it in. Madeline. Would you care for a drink? I'd love one. I'm sure you can tell I'm quite drunk. I've had a couple to build up the nerve. I think we both know what I'm about to say. Raymond, I don't think we need to say anything. I'm gay. That's what I was going to tell you. Well, then. She sabotaged my career because I refused to bed her. Good news is, the sting we set up to catch deadbeats went great. Name's Bill Voss. Just got this thing in the mail, said I want a free Bahamas cruise. Congratulations, Bill. You have six outstanding warrants for credit fraud. Oh, man. Can't it wait till I get back from the Bahamas? I want a cruise. You're not very bright, are you, Bill? I understand you stopped by the patrol officer's morning briefing. Yeah. Officer Deepmore helped me out with my crime scene, so I gave him a little thank you present. Hey, Deepmore. If you're gonna bag evidence like a five-year-old, you should have the proper tools. It's in my first police kit. The walkie-talkie blows bubbles. Hope you can handle it. <laughs> a witness just came in with her child. While she was being interviewed, I took the kid to the soft room, and the toy situation in there is kind of bleak. Is this your opinion or the child's opinion? It's mine. Trick question. Any opinion about toys is a child's opinion. All we have in there are toys from the movie Kazam, and none of them are even Kazam. I have an extra graphing calculator I could leave in there for the children. Um, I was thinking we could liven things up in there. Maybe add a model train. 
I used to love them when I was a kid. I was also a model train enthusiast as a child. Those miniature tracks provided me with some of my happiest memories. All aboard! The train will be departing in 45 minutes. Detective Peralta has made a collar in the jewelry store heist. Way to go, Jakey. Well, that's OK. No. He didn't get sufficient evidence to make it stick. So we have the next 48 hours to fix his mistake. Oh. What evidence did you have when you arrested this guy? Some pretty ironclad stuff. Destin, it's been a while. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, well, well. If it isn't Joe Peralta, <laughs> that's it. You're under arrest. Case closed. It's all so great. He could take it down just a smidge. If you like pina coladas. Dead guy, Charles. Sorry. Dean Alistair? Policeman Raymond. Good to see you. <laughs> Read any interesting magazines lately? This again? I was waiting for Kevin. I had finished my book, and I happened to glance at an issue of The Economist that someone left lying about. All I remember is you becoming unhinged. The only reason I picked it up was to swat a fly. I mean, I'm not crazy. Why are there always flowers here? Just arrested my first Halloween idiot of the season. He was trying to rob a bank, but had a little trouble with the getaway. Trying to split, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get out on appeal. I'm so glad you're stuck. I've got a million of these. No, 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 don't touch the money! Just eating butter like a popsicle, huh, boy? Yeah, I know, I'm spoiling myself, but I'm depressed. Or have you forgotten that Jake, my best friend, is in prison? Wait, Jake's in prison? Yeah, he and Rosa were framed for a bunch of bank robberies by Lieutenant Hawkins. Oh, right. And where's Gina? On maternity leave. We were all at her baby shower last week. OK, and why am I bleeding? I don't know, Hitchcock. Oh, so you don't have all the answers. I'm bleeding because my piece of crap son-in-law bit me. Look, we all miss Jake and Rosa, which is why we have to keep working the case. There has to be some way to exonerate them. I've been looking, but I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. Title of your sex tape. What is happening right now? They caught Hawkins trying to flee the country. She confessed to everything, and they let me out. Oh, my god, Jake, is it really you? Are you really here? You know it, baby. But first, I got to hug my best friend. Yeah. What? Welcome back, Peralta. I just heard from the mayor. To apologize for what happened to you, they're sending you to Disney World. You and one male guest. As long as I don't have to go on any of the scary rides. I just go for the shows. <laughs> boil, 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 boil. Were you dreaming about Jake again? Why did you wake me up? I told you never to wake me up. <laughs>